This video was brought to you by Primal Driven and JDMBrand.com. What's up guys, it's Mike. I know I've been gone for a long time, but I have a really good excuse. No, let me show you. No, seriously, it's a good excuse. Okay, you guys ready for this? I got this, right here. I told you it's a good excuse. And I got one more thing. I got something on this box too. Can you guys guess what it is? Okay, on a serious note, I've been gone for a little bit, but I've been working with these guys in ISC Suspension. They were able to hook me up with some really cool products, coilovers and control arms. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at what they sent me. All right, straight to the unboxing. So I gotta say, the shipping was actually pretty quick. When they said that they shipped it, bam, it was there the next few days. The box was well-made, really thick materials. Now, my biggest complaint about shipping is companies tend to use really cheap materials for boxes, and that's really important because that's where the box and the products keep each other together. So it's real important that everything's really good. So inside this, you'll see two coilovers for each little box they have. And over to the next box, gonna be pretty much the same thing. Two coilovers inside, some stickers, and some hardware. I have no idea where it goes yet. But it's gonna be bubble wrapped, really nicely packed. And let's go ahead and open one up and see what's inside. Now I gotta say, the black and gold is really nice. It feels so solid in my hands also. And um, I guess it acts as a bazooka or a machine gun also. But overall, well built, really nice. I've had heard so many good things about ISC suspension so far. Please give me your input on the comments below if you guys know anything else about them or if you guys have any pictures of cars with ISC suspension setups. And also inside the packages, you'll see some instructions and some products that they already have, uh, some stickers, and also a big thank you card, which is really nice from ISC suspension. I love this gold look right now. I'm in this gold thing, my phone's gold and the hardware itself is really nice too. Now over to the control arms. One simple box, couple papers inside, and then the two objects inside. Coil over left hand, right, driver side, passenger side. Really nice. Gold again, loving the look. Really solid build. Um, can't be more than happy. It's like a kid on Christmas for me, opening two cool products. But here it is, closer look, ice suspension snapped on the side, and it feels real solid, so I'm really happy with it. Can't wait for the install, so make sure you guys let me know if you guys have any experience or any other issues with the install. That way I can avoid all these issues. But seriously, you guys, thanks guys for watching. Thanks ISC for sending these great products. I'm gonna have an install video on these pretty soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned. And also, I'm not sure where these goes. I think this is a part of the steering wheel, and I think this is the oil thing. Maybe I should get a professional to do this. This looks like a bazooka. Bang, bang, bang. This looks like Thor's hammer without the top part. It's a gold standard. This should be an Apple video or something. Dude, is it hot in here or it's just me? But anyways, guys, thanks guys for watching. And uh, let's try to install this without breaking my car. I've got another install product I want to put in my car. Let me show you guys. I got this thing. This is a new turbo. Let's try to put this turbo in my car. Ready, turbo? Whee! Look how big he is. Oh, jeez. It's a monster. Ah. All right, guys. Seriously, thanks guys for watching. Oh, he just hit by me. Smurf and WX, Smurf and Pit, all both on Instagram. And uh, one day, we'll put this turbo in my car. Get a couple PSI out of this one. <laughs> thanks, guys. Whee! Talk to you guys later. Morning, really great still. Really like it. Um, I'm not big on washing my car by hand all the time, so I don't mind taking it through a car wash. It's not a big deal to me. And for the most part, it never damages my car really. But, uh, I, you know, I've had this question uh, quite a few times about buying a used Subaru. And the question is, 